To be sitting on your couch and, and look down on Twitter or get a text message and see that the NCAA tournament had been canceled was an absolute punch to the gut, a feeling that I really can't even put into words. It was obviously the right thing to do and it's something that needed to take place, but uh, didn't lessen the fact that it was, uh, it was really tough for our young ladies. The Board of Governors canceled the Division I men's and women's 2020 basketball tournaments as well as all remaining winter and spring NCAA championships. This decision is based on the evolving COVID-19 public health threat. As we headed into this season, I think we felt like we had a pretty good basketball team. We knew this team had a chance to be maybe the best offensive team that we've had here at IUPUI. Our concern was going to be could we continue to be a high-level defensive team? And how would we mesh all these new players? And what would that look like as we got into conference play? And when we played at our best basketball, the ball was moving, uh, and we shot the ball from three uh, as well as we ever have here at IUPUI. Simply just worrying about what was in front of us and having the best focus and the best attitude toward that. And that kind of became our mantra throughout the course of the year. And as we focused one practice at a time, one game at a time, the wind started slowly building up. And I think at one point we'd won 13 games in a row. That's on Rachel McLemore off the inbounds play at the buzzer, got it to roll home. She was fouled in the process, was able to make the free throw. Stuff will take care of itself, but a lot of good performances today. We're locked in, really strong team effort. You should be very proud of how you play. Good job, good job. <laughs> mentality of our young ladies didn't change and I think that focus and that ability to put those horse blinders on and just focus on what was in front of them and not get caught up by any outside noise or worried about you know trying to hoist a trophy at the end of the year that focus is why we were able to build and play some of our best basketball toward the end of the season. Some things that fans may not realize uh, that goes into what we, we do is they see the basketball side of it, but you know this was an incredibly close basketball team. Uh, the character of our young ladies, how connected they were, uh, and how much they cared about one another uh, didn't just happen overnight. Uh, the other part about it is uh, our team really does enjoy being around one another. Uh, we as coaches didn't have to force them to hang out. And uh, Outside of basketball, there was a genuine uh, care uh, and concern and level of enthusiasm uh, for one another. And I think behind the scenes, uh, not everybody would get a chance to see that, but you saw it on the court. And uh, one of my favorite moments was in the championship game, looking at our bench and seeing their passion, their energy, uh, and their enthusiasm for the players on the floor, knowing that they had just as much an impact uh, on our, our outcome uh, from the bench is the players that were on the floor. And, and that's that's what makes a team unique and that's what made this team special. I want everybody high so we can dump it in. Let's go. Watch them up. Hey, you yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The feeling of winning the Horizon League Tournament Championship is, was unbelievable. To win that game in our city, in front of our fans, uh, with people who have supported the program uh, during some difficult years, for all the former players that have helped position us to be in that, you know, be in that moment, uh, as I watched our young ladies celebrate on the floor and, and jump, uh, you know, into each other's arms, a sense of, of satisfaction, excitement, uh, but but kind of perspective of knowing how hard the journey had been. The other thing that was really cool was getting the trophy on the stage and seeing the reaction of the young ladies, uh, seeing Holly hoist the trophy as our senior captain, and then. Uh, the last part was as we walked into the locker room and we'd done all our media coverage, I walked in and uh, didn't even think about it. You know, it wasn't even on my radar. And I walked in and they absolutely doused me with water and uh, soaking wet head to toe. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was pretty cold, but it was, uh, it was a great feeling. Enjoy, hey, listen guys, enjoy these special moments. We talked about keeping our eye on the prize, having tunnel vision, being focused on what's going on. You did that, now celebrate. All right, yeah. let's go. You know, my heart went out for our young ladies to not experience the NCAA selection show, to not be able to play in the tournament. And I think our kids felt like we had a chance to 
uh, do some damage uh, in the tournament. And I know that was one of the biggest reasons they were bummed out. You know, obviously the hoopla behind being in the NCAA tournament, but our kids, you know, felt like they had an opportunity to go win games. And, and I really believed, uh, you know, we had a chance to, to go do some damage. And uh, to have that taken away was really tough. They can never take away the fact that we won the regular season, that we won the tournament championship, and that they're champions. And they did it the right way. And even though we didn't get to play in the NCAA tournament, we qualified for the NCAA tournament. And we were the first in school history to do that. And this group will always be remembered for that. And it's something that is special and something they'll always remember.